breadcrumbs in the shops. So I've toasted some bread already and I'm going to blend it very quickly to show you how you can make your own breadcrumbs and you don't even have to buy any breadcrumbs. So that saves you a little bit of money. I'm gonna make it slightly chilly because we do like a bit of chilli in, in our burgers. I've got some coriander, some garlic, thyme, salt and pepper and a little bit of mixed herbs. Breadcrumbs, all you do is get your toasted bread, put it in here. And if you want all the stuff in your bread to be a more uh, really, really fine, you can also add your mixed herbs and your garlic all in one as well. So it's gonna make a little bit of a noise, guys. I'm going to throw in my thyme. I can add the onions in. I'm gonna do half a chili because I don't like too much chili. I've got some coriander, some garlic. Just put it all into the blender. And I'm just gonna give it a quick whiz. I've got some mixed herbs in here. I'm gonna add some salt. Some pepper. Yeah, you can use your fingers. And I prefer to use my fingers to get it all in together. And once it's all marinated, I'm gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes. And then we're gonna make the burger patties and then we're gonna fry them in the electric skillet, not using any oils at all. Stick that in the fridge. The other option is, if you've got a jar, if you have a jar, just put the ice cream into the jar, add a little bit of milk, yeah, how are you guys, are you guys making your burgers? A nice little blender. <laughs> You don't even have to have a milkshake, you can have a smoothie with your natural yogurt, with your fruit, with a bit of ice, and that you are just ready to go. And then I've got some, I have got some um, toffee treat here, which you can zap it and make it creative you know just go and have some fun with it it doesn't have to be perfect the most important thing is you are having fun in the kitchen and and the other thing is it's getting the kids involved in what you are doing so i have got some squirty cream which here in this household this is my daughter's speciality oh there we go <laughs> some chocolate, grate it on top, and that's your milkshake. Should I try some? Yes. Oh, it is yummy licious. That's why I made the milkshake first, so I could have some while I'm making my uh, hamburgers. <laughs> I've washed my hands again, so that's nice and cold and chilled and hopefully it would have settled in nicely, yeah. So this part, you can make them into nice, if you've got a burger press, it's brilliant, you can make them bigger ones, you can make them smaller ones. I'm going to put that in the electric skillet. You can use your hands or put them on the tape on your clean surface and shape them like how you want them to be and already you can see it's gonna just I'm gonna leave that one right there so what I'm gonna do as, as you can see I've added absolutely no oil because what's gonna happen is 
every meat, whether it's chicken, whether it's lamb, whether it's beef, whether it's duck, all have natural oils in them. So what I'm doing now is going to extract all the oil from the burger. So why add more oil when meat already has oil? If I close it, it becomes an oven, but I'm going to fry the burgers today. So I'm going to allow the, the air to escape so it just fries a little bit. And whilst we're waiting to cook, I've got some burger buns. I'm just going to do two. So I've washed the lettuce. I've used some um, sweet gem lettuce, which I've got from Sainsbury's earlier today. I've washed them. And all you have to do is just keep them smaller. There. And I can cut up my cucumber. Yeah, wash the tomato. Of course, if you're using the knife, children, make sure your mom and dad's next to you. You know, that you don't cut your fingers and you're careful. Uh, so I've got that. So once the burgers are on, I'll put my uh, cucumber and tomato and some ketchup if you want. And that's it. I think we're ready to go. Just look at how nicely that fries without any oil. These are almost ready or are ready. There you go. Look at that. And they did not even reduce either. And just look at that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of them. Put them in here. So you can do it however you like. So I've got the lettuce in first. I've put some tomato, some cucumber. I've got the, um, the burger patty. I'm going to add some cheese. There, you just can put some I don't have burger cheese, but you can make up your own as you go along. And um, that's it.